Okay, so um, today's rest day, as you can tell by the title, um, and it's going to give me some time to, you know, explain and lay out a couple things that have been uh, mentioned quite a bit in the comments section. It's just some running through, through a couple of things that I've been thinking about lately, alongside a couple other things that I didn't really want to start thinking about, but unfortunately I have to. So, you know, just just because YouTube is, you know, such a small world and people get pissed off over some of the smallest things, really. So, I mean, I don't care, but uh, to appeal, to ease the masses over something that's really minor. I'm going to do a couple of things with the with this channel since it is public facing. And even though I kind of want it as a fitness journal, I don't really care too much, but... uh. I take a lot of inspiration from other people. Um, one of them is very not is very notably uh, seen through a lot of the content that I post, from my intro to my filming style, style the editing style, the sitting in the car and driving. I'm not going to name names because you already know who I'm talking about. Just like how he won't name his cycles. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 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 I don't. I don't care. Um. I'll let you know when I get on my cycle, though. I promise. <laughs> uh, with that joke aside, um, here, here's the deal. Uh, I am going to switch up the editing style a little bit. Uh, the filming style is going to be roughly the same. Um, but, you know, I will still sit in the car and film. I will still sit in the car and film. But uh, I'll try and, you know modify it just a little bit so i'm keeping the fucking intro okay i like the way that intro looks i like the way it goes together i'm gonna keep it okay so that that's that that that, blah, 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 blah. that is that okay i'm gonna keep it that way i like it uh, the way that it looks i'm gonna keep it that way all right um secondly uh uh the videos are gonna be a little bit shorter more compressed i'm not gonna be focusing so much on commentary during these sets because i'm not I don't have any information to give you. I don't have anything to teach you. I'm just showing you that I'm working out, and that's about it. Um, and showing myself that I'm working out, and that's about it. Um, so that's that's change number two. Change number three, um, I can upload videos every single day about what I'm going to end up doing. But ultimately, it's up to me if I want to record every set that I do. So some videos will be shorter. Some videos will be longer. And that's probably because I just didn't record all the fucking exercises that I did. Uh, yesterday's video, leg day, on day 27, I didn't upload the video with my leg curls because I didn't end up recording any of the sets. Uh, it was prone leg curls. It was my first exercise of the day. Uh, there was a lot of people around all the leg curl machines. And honestly, I didn't have any space to put a fucking tripod. There's too many people moving through that one area. So I was like, fuck it. Nope. I'm just going to leave it alone and just get my shit done and get the fuck out and move on. And then I kicked it off with, I believe, leg extensions and calf raises and squats. And yes, yeah, squats were last because I didn't want to fucking... I, it's just how everything fell in the groove. Um, I'm trying to get in there, get my workout, and get the fuck out. Ultimately, I'm not going to fucking sit there and try and like you know strategically place my fucking shit because my pump will go woo. Then I won't have a pump at the end of it, and I'll look like a stick. You know, that's just how it is. Like me, me unpumped right now. This is what I look like. I have no pump at all. No pump in the slightest. I have not worked out in the slightest today, um, and I'm not going to. I, uh, the most I might do is like 15 minutes on the cardio bike, and that's about it. I'm not looking to do fucking land speed records. Um, I have minimized the amount of food that I've taken in the day because I, I'm on a rest day. I'm not going to be taking in that many calories. I've only burned like 500 according to my Apple Watch. And resting, my body just, on rest days, it's about 1,500 to 1,800 calories that my body will end up using. However, uh, that's about it, really. I'm, I'm, trying to lose, I'm trying to lose this belly fat, which... It's becoming less and less of a, a grab handle and more of a pinch, pinch to pinch to control type deal. So it's getting a little bit, you know, 
it's becoming one flap. It's becoming one flap instead of two flaps. So that's good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, the cut is going to take some time. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer than I want it to, but fuck, I, I, this is my first one. So I'm going to learn a lot of shit, how fast I should cut, how fast I'm not going to cut, how fast, I, you know, I'm looking at my next bulk and I'm thinking like two tens probably going to be where I stop. I'm probably going to bulk to two ten and healthy too. And I'm going to make it a really long, really long bulk. Because I want to make it to like 210. That'll be like my number at 5'9. Five, 5'9 nine. Five nine inches tall. 190 was the first one. And now the first cut, I bulked to 190. First, first bulk. It wasn't really like first bulk day X, Y, Z. It, it, has, it was just like, you know, like 12 episodes and then boom, fucking day seven of the first cut came out. I don't, I, I decided to do this daily stuff. Um, a couple weeks ago, and it seems to work out pretty well. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that. But the bro split is definitely going to be a motivating factor for me to a key factor for me to continue uh, uploading as frequently as I am. Uh, I've got the editing thing down, so it's going to take some time for this. Um, obviously, there's a couple of things that I'm going to change up with the editing style i think tomorrow's chess day is going to be a little bit of um i'm just going to slowly start blending things out and putting things in um I'll slowly start sh trimming shit off the uh the big meat sh uh what's it called the meat monolith the meat monolith i'm just going to start sh cutting off and making shawarma with it um and just go from there I can show you my supplement stack today, which is pretty, you know, s simple, straightforward. Starting off, the first thing I take is three of these, uh, basically Albertsons store brand multivitamin gummies. Uh, in the whole thing, it's got vitamin A, C, D, and E, B6, B12. Um, it's got niacin, it's got folate, it's got biotin, pantothenic acid, Iodine, zinc, chromium, molybdenum, and sodium. And a fucking shitload of B12. So I'm going to be up all night and my body is fine. Uh, then I got this uh, fucking tongue cat Ali shit that I've been taking. So it's been all right for me. I've seen a little bit of a, uh, like a, a mood stabilization. Uh, then you got the hard shit right here. The shit that fucking... Heart, Mr. Harder Than Last Time advertises on his own brand. His stuff is cheaper and does the same shit. Maybe not as pure, but, you know. Then I got the Fidoja Aggressus for my uh, hormones. This might be doing the heavy lifting. I'm not sure, but it is, it is, uh, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And then lastly, I got my fucking creatine. I got my concrete. Obviously, it's it's just a pill. It's just easier for me to fucking remember to do. I just take that stack every day. It doesn't really matter when I take it. The Turk and the Tonkat, I try and take before 5 o'clock. So then I can sleep. And that's about what I'm after. So uh, what else is there? I mean, that's about it. That's really all I wanted to address. I mean, before, you know, this fucking whole YouTube thing. Before the YouTube recommended, it's just like, hey, this guy's producing videos every day, and it's all similar to the stuff that you watch. You know, just, I'll do that. But uh, I think I'm, uh, I've got a couple of things that I'm working on in my own personal time. Uh, one of them is a jazz album. Uh, I've, I've been making music for about a year and a half now, and I'm going to be releasing very soon my third jazz album, which is pretty cool. Um, which is very, very cool in my opinion. I'm a multi-genre type of thing, so I'm kind of stuck between funk, EDM, and jazz. Um, I made two funk EPs, uh, two jazz albums, and an EDM slash like dubstep house music thing. Um, like drum and bass and house music type thing. 
like going from like a Forza Horizon video game to like an Armani Exchange showroom. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> it's it's pretty sad, but you know, it works. It worked out. So maybe I'll play some demos. Ah, uh, might as well since I have time to do that now at least. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just fire up my computer and get it, get everything going here. So I'll just show you what I've been up to producing wise, and uh, we'll go from there, I guess. Um, um actually, <laughs> no. Um, and then I got this thing in the mail. I guess the uh, my uh, label that I'm with that just helps me with all my distribution and shit. They take 10%. They sent me this little thing, which is pretty cool. It's a little fucking little plaque thingy that says I passed a thousand streams. I don't know why my little agency did this, but that was really nice of them. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm going to put that on my wall or something. Or other... Um, I'm going to put it... Actually... Oh, shit. Oops. I'm gonna, can I stick this through the, this onto there? Hey, you know what? That actually kind of works. Cool. You know what? I'll take that. That's kind of mounted to my computer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this is just stuff that I work on. I've got a couple of songs. Uh, I've got eight jazz songs done. Uh, sorry, seven done. I'm working on eight, nine, and ten at the moment. I'm slating this for like a month from now. I'll be done with all the mastering and all that stuff. I have all 10 songs recorded. I'm just, you know, just trying to master and mix and everything by myself, which is a fucking travesty. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just going to move this around here. This is my mouse, by the way, if you if you know what this is. It's a Logitech G502X Plus in white, wireless, light speed. Love it. Um... Let me see if I'm hooked up to my, oh, that's just my shitty fucking headphones. These things have been through hell. I've thrown these. I've broke, it's like, I broke the little things off right here. It still works. I mean, it's starting to rattle and shit because it's, you know, four years old, but it works. I, I don't know how, by whatever got ungodly mean, it, it's still working. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, which one do I want to show you? I could show you the jazz songs that I've been doing. Or I show you the, the metal ones I've been doing too. <laughs> uh, which ones is which? Oh, Sax in the City is pretty cool. So this was recorded on a, uh, a few different instruments and I just kind of played after I did the drums I did the bass, and then I did the saxophone, and I did the trumpet and piano and all that stuff. Just kind of laid, layered over one after another in audacity, and then I started to master everything. And I had some, you know, some atmosphere and some things like that. So uh, let me turn this up, and let me turn off my noise canceling so you can hear what I'm actually talking about here. All right, maybe now that's off, I think. So let's see. Some fucking crazy fucking runs and shit. 
It was mostly just runs the whole fucking time. It was just freestyling. Just freestyling the whole time. That's one, right? And then I got, you know. This is with a, a guitar, so. These are, I rented all these uh, instruments, so. Cause I needed the samples and then I did most of the work with this guy right here. And I used uh, FL Studio as my DAW. Flute and all that shit, like that's all that's all the keyboard. I'm so happy about this one. This stuff soothes my soul instantly. Bad day, fuck it, jazz. Fuck it, we jazzin'. Time the tick, another one. With a saxophone. Just some fun stuff. Uh, this one made this sound super old fashioned. This is the headlining song of my whole album here. I made it sound super old fashioned because I'm such a fucking huge nerd when it comes to old fashioned jazz music. You could talk to me about jazz for hours, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, and I would still talk my fucking ear off about jazz. I love it. I spent most of my time in college listening to jazz music and making jazz music, and I'm gonna say right now, my old fucking jazz music sounds like shit. I'll, I'll, I'll show you an old demo right now. Uh, music, nope, sorry. Uh, was it completed tracks, jazz album? Here was the first one. This was the first album I did. Right here. Let me find it here. Uh, this is my first one. This is me just using a fucking keyboard without using any actual samples or learning how to fucking make instruments sound real. It just sounds like this. I made it sound, I, I tried to do my best and it, it didn't work out. That was like my first two albums uh, was just permanent suffering. Um, this one is fun. Oh, I love that song. 
And then this one. Big band. Big band swing music. I love it. Big band swing jazz. I love it. How to make your own big band? You just loop yourself playing the same instrument over and over again a couple times, and you get this. Oh man, that was such a good song. I wanted, I wonder if I downloaded my latest one. Did I, or did I not? I sure did. Listen to this. This is crazy. Ooh, that fucking like going from nothing to screaming it. Making an instrument go from <laughs> trying to make it screech is awesome. Making them hit the high notes. down my favorite one of the album it's a it's a it's gonna I, I still don't have a name for it but I'm working on on a name for it it'll be something pretty generic but yeah that's that's the that's the whole thing that's the whole deal so uh I can make all sorts of different songs so like this one I lost a bet so I'm making a song for uh, someone that I know, she made a like a, a like a metal song. It has some pretty suggestive lyrics in it, and I sung to it with a voice changer and some effects and shit to make my voice sound a little bit better than it does. So it, it turned out pretty well. This took me about a week to make this one. I wanted to make it like sound like kind of in the same style of music that she made, but jazz. I think it turned out pretty well. Not bad for voice.ai, I'm just saying. So yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll be it. So uh, yeah, take your rest days and make music in your free time, you know? Uh, so yeah.
Thanks for watching.